Hi everybody, it's me, Jennifer, from Little Metal Foxes. Uh, Jennifer Stenhouse here with you, and I have a tool tip for you tonight. So, hey, how are you? Um, I just wanted to give you guys some tips on stone setting stops, because they're awesome. So if you haven't ever seen a stone setting stop, they're a little bitty um, thing that you can use with a little, use a little um, hex key to loosen it. Uh, what you do is, hello there, hi everybody, welcome aboard. So the little uh, stop like this allows you to screw it onto uh, things like your stone setting burrs, boop, and drill bits to make it stop automatically from going too deep. So this is really uh, kind of a cool tool, especially when you're setting stones, because you want to make sure you're getting it the same depth every time. For example, when you're working on something like um, a wax and you're planning on doing a bunch of flush sets in the setting or, or on the stone or on the waxes or on your piece, uh, this will allow you to cut in so far so that you get the same depth every single time. So that's really great, especially if you're doing production pieces where you're having to set stones in a piece that they all are gonna be a certain size and all gonna be down to a certain depth. And not only is it great for something like flush setting, but it's really great for doing things like little bitty uh, headsets that are just ready to go and you just need to, like they're not completely pre-notched and you want to make sure, oh, hey, Kathleen, and you want to make sure that uh, the stones are sitting straight and at the right depth. So once you sort of check this with your stone setting uh, burr, you can get it to the right depth every single time. A lot of people like to use this with track setting as well, because once you get this piece in place, you can run it down the, the bar and use a uh, hard burr, and it will cut the depth exactly the way you want it. But I like this for just drilling sometimes. I've got pieces that need to be drilled that I'm putting an earring post into, and I want to make sure it's at the same, at the right depth on all of them for production pieces. So if I'm drilling into you know natural materials or into plastics or cellulose or whatever it is, I know that if I'm planning on, you know, if I've got a glue example, uh, glue an earring into something that's like a natural material like this, I know that I can get the same depth in all the pieces so that my earring post isn't sitting too deep and not going to fall out because I didn't drill it deep enough. But especially for multiple pieces, this can be a really great reduction saver because you know you're drilling exactly the same way every single time. Um, normally this is used with um, things like your stone setting burrs and especially hard burrs where you can put it in so it only goes in so deep. Um, they're there are two different styles that you can get um, that come together in a set from like Rio and the set's like 13 bucks. These are not expensive tools. So just to have like a little wrench that screws it on there works great. Now there are some stone setting uh, pre-stops that actually came on this particular set of stone setting burrs. And you can see that this is gonna cut to the right depth every single time because it has that stop built in and it has a safe side so these don't cut on the sides, they just cut straight down. So for flush setting and tube setting, these are great because they cut exactly to the right depth. But most stone setting burrs don't come with that. In fact, these are hard to find nowadays. So finding something like this is great because it goes straight down. And because this is so smooth on top, boop, boop, right there, super smooth, um, it doesn't damage the top of the piece. So um, the top of this, or one side or the other, you can have down. This one is about six millimeters across here. So you can use uh, smaller settings that are smaller than the six millimeter. And the other side, because you can turn this over, is about 10 millimeters. So you've got you know something smaller than six, something smaller than 10 will fit on those two pieces. So you've got a great stop for drilling or for stone setting. So that's what those are for. So, hooray! Um, again, it's just, it's uh, if you look at it in like the Rio catalog, you're gonna find it as a stone setting stop. Um, and it just, you know, uh, screws on really quick and easy and unscrews and you can flip it, change it, set your depth and drill like crazy. So, um, 
If you haven't seen these before, I would highly recommend it. If you're doing a lot of stone setting or uh, if you're not sure how deep you need to do your flush settings, for example, this can be a really great uh, tool. So, you know, even if you're doing your stone setting by hand with your wax, um, this can be really great because you can just, you know, drill to the depth that you need by hand even and get that in there nice and tight. There you go. Hello there. Boop. Um, and you know that you're not going to go too deep and that the stone setting is going to be just right when you get it done. Right? So, yeah, stone setting stops. Great little tool for the studio. 13 bucks may save your butt, right? So, um, if you have, have you, has anybody used these before? I know we've got about 10 people in the room. If you have, you know, give me a shout out. Or if you have any questions about these, definitely shout out. Um, they're simple, simple to use uh, and don't take a lot of, you know, imagination or mastery <laughs> to be able to use this tool. In fact, they're one of those things that can make it a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. No. Oh, Magda. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. So if you haven't tried these before, highly recommend it. Um, Lilia. Yes. They're awesome, aren't they? So if, um, yeah. Do you guys have any questions about what these are for or how to use them? Give me, give me a, a shout there. I know there's a little bit of a delay between me and you, but if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I do use these with, you know, simple stone setting heads like these that because you can there it's really hard to see something that small and if you've got a little stone setting burr in that you know that you're going to get them all exactly the right depth so it's really good oh hey jen yeah we're talking about stone setting stops these are awesome um so anyway yeah so if you have any questions about those let me know um i do have let's see if i can find my little oh hex key here had it, I was using it at work when I came in. So, let me see if I can one that's the right size for this. Hello! So, yeah, Jen, if you haven't seen uh, Jen Serene's uh, website, do check it out. She does some beautiful work. And um, just uh, if you're in the Chicago area, check out the show, the um, earring show. Uh, Jen, put in the, the chat what the, the gallery is again. I forgot what the name of the gallery is. But there's an amazing earring show there. And on Jen's Instagram, check it out because she gives a little little tour of the place and has some great pics on for her site. So yeah, Gallery 2052 in Chicago. Um, and check them out. They've got a great, uh, yeah, at Gallery 52, 2052 spelled out. Uh, at Gallery 2052. So shout out to them, shout out to Jen. And um, yeah, so I know we've got them uh, as one of our, we follow them as well. So I'll put that in the chat and give a shout out to them. Mad for Hoops is the name of the show and it is amazing. So there's so many amazing earrings in that show. So check it out. Okay, so earrings are a uh, drill stop. So you wanna do that using a little hex key it comes with it here we go so then you can slide out your drill bit and slide in your drill bit or um, in whatever you want and you can adjust the depth so however much you want to sort of scoot it in or out um, you can even mark your drill bit or burr before you put it in so that you know uh, how deep you want it to go um, with this one, it's usually set at about a millimeter and a half because I don't need to go very deep. And so I get it set to the depth that I want it. And tighten the little hex nut there. There we go. And I can check that with my measuring tool. And that's about right. So just a little bit sticking out. That's all I really need. And then tighten that back down and it's good to go. Um, when your drill bit gets burnt, uh, dull, pop it out and pop in a new one and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, yeah. Any questions about the stone setting stops? These are awesome and seriously, it's like $13. So, you know, go get one of those. It may save your, save your buns doing that. Um, also, we've got some fun classes coming up at Little Metal Foxes. If you are interested in doing some alternative stone settings, I've got a whole series of stone settings coming up, uh, doing things like back set, 
wood, doing back set stones. Uh, I've got the, um, the reel for these guys coming up. We're going to be adding gold bezels and doing fancy bezels and uh, flush setting and baskets for all kinds of stuff. So a lot of the stone settings that I'm teaching are for alternative stone settings, things that you couldn't necessarily buy or pick up at a store. I mean, you know, if I'm doing like, you know, uh, 2.4 millimeter, you know, stones, I'm sometimes it's easier to buy those settings. However, if you're doing something fancy, like a back set stone, or you want to do, um, yeah, so something like that, it's remarkably easy to do the back set stones and make them look amazing. So this one I used um, the, the fancy gallery wire and from Ryan and who you can find on Etsy. He's awesome. That ring, I know. Um, and the new earrings, which I'm in love with. I wore them today and I felt so confident. Check them out. What? I know. So this one's got the gold vessel on it as well. So there you go. And um, yeah, so we're going to be doing uh, adding gold vessels and working. These are actually a gold fill. So gold filled vessels, which you can add some gold to your work, makes it look great and uh, adds a little contrast, especially if you're doing a little patina on there too. Um, so I like using the gold and black for some of my stuff. Um, so if you want to learn how to do that, adding gold uh, series is coming up too. So I hope you'll join us for that. Um, but I do like using things like found objects and um, all kinds of just, you know, wonderful uh, pieces. So for enamels, for found objects, for unusual shape stones, the stone setting series that's coming up is going to be great. Um, but if you want to do something more traditional, I can completely demystify flush setting for you in five steps. So that's coming up. So check those out. Um, also, rolling mill class is coming up. So if you want an affordable option for your rolling mills, um, and you maybe have a rolling mill that's a little intimidating, you're afraid to use it, don't know how to maintain it, rolling mill class is coming up this weekend, I think. Yes, this weekend. So there's still time to jump into the rolling mill class. We're also going to be talking about uh, rolling mill resources, um, laser etched papers, and how to use them. And in fact, rolling mill resource is going to be in the class with us. So if you want to meet them and find out more, do that. And we've got a discount code for rolling mill resources for our students. So come on, it's going to be fun. Um, we've got a little, uh, mine's over there, covered up right now. It's like right over there. Boop, boop. Covered up in his little, his little knapsack. So anyway, um, if you want to, uh, to join us for that, I hope you do. Um, and Julia's got boxes and lockets coming up, which is going to be a great class. All kinds of good stuff. Etching a bag is coming up. Burst demystified, the diamond burst demystified. So come play with us, okay? And I know I'm going to see uh, Rada handmade there for a couple of them, so I'm looking forward to seeing you. And uh, you all have a great week. If you have any uh, tool tips that you would like us to do or that you would like to see, please uh, send us a message and let us know. Um, oh, also, shout out to Tanya Davidson, by the way. So I'm going to do a little shout out for Tanya. These are fantastic. She's got these great little bookmarks that have all kinds of um, great uh, resources on them. It's a great little, um, yeah, jeweler's resource list here of temperatures and flush sets and conversions and but it's a great little bookmark that she can send you for next to nothing. So um, so check that out over on Tanya Davidson's site, by the way, because she's cool. I just got those and I'm like, yes! So it's always good to have stuff like that on hand, quick little resources. So I hope you'll join us again. Again, if you have any uh, tool tips that you'd like us to do or you, things you want to know about, give us a shout. Um, also, check out the Tiny's the Best, I know, right? Um, so, uh, check out our YouTube channel. We've got over 57 tool tips there, all, all in one place. You can check those out and see them. We also have some other free content on our YouTube channel. So, uh, <laughs> click like, hit smash that button. <laughs> and you'll know when we've got live classes, live uh, bonus content coming up, like playing with fire and uh, the interviews that we've been doing. So, um, so yeah, check those out on our YouTube channel too. All right, and we'll see you guys next week. And some of you I'll see before then. So, mwah, mwah. bye everybody.